Putting in a Pool by Kelly MacLean Fred and Josie have just moved down to Florida, and they have bought themselves a new house. They have a square backyard, and they want to put a new pool in their square backyard. Their yard is 70 feet by 70 feet, and they want a square pool to go in the middle of the yard. But they want the pool to only take up half the area of the yard. To figure out how big they are going to make the pool, Fred and Josie need to find the area of the backyard, which can be found by multiplying the length times the width. So the area of the backyard is 70 feet times 70 feet, which equals 4,900 feet. But since they only want the pool to fill up half of the backyard, they need to divide the backyard's area by 2. So the total area that the pool can take up is 2,450 feet. To find the dimensions of the pool, Fred and Josie must set up the formula. 70 minus 2G times 70 minus 2G equals 2,450, where the G represents the amount of space they want to leave for grass on each side of the pool. Fred and Josie will then multiply 70 minus 2G times 70 minus 2G, which is called completing the square. When they do the multiplication, they get the equation 4G squared minus 280G plus 4,900, which equals 2,450. They will then subtract 2,450 from both sides of the equation, so the equation will then be 4G squared minus 280G plus 2,450 equals 0. This is in quadratic form since it follows the form AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. To find the pool's dimensions, or its length and width, the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. This formula will be used to solve 4g squared minus 280g plus 2450 equals 0. So when you plug in those numbers, the pool will be 49.5 feet by 49.5 feet and that is how much area it will take up in Fred and Josie's backyard.